Welcome everybody. Today is day three of our five days of painting ornaments. Today we're doing the nativity. Tomorrow we're doing the jingle bells. And on Friday we're gonna do the snowman. But on Saturday you will have a surprise one that you can do on a paper uh, bag, on a note, anything. It's just a little extra freebie um, for you guys to uh, enjoy. So today I am doing my little nativity. And for those of you who don't know how to make face color, what I'm gonna do is, I this one is a little bit different paper, but it doesn't matter. What I do is I take my red, right, and my white, and I put it on the side. Now if you were to just do red and white, it turns pink. See that? But if I take a little bit of that yellow, and I mix it in here, it tones down my pink and it makes it kind of peach. See that? This way you don't have to buy a whole tube of peach paint since this little face is so tiny. So again, I'm going to turn my little wood piece. Let me do this. Uh, let's see. Okay, and this is, see, it's all peachy color. So this is the baby Jesus' face. Okay. I am going to rinse my brush out and I will take a little bit of my um, light blue here. And that is going to be his little blanket. So I will do this in a round oval type shape. And it looks dark now, but you'll see how we're going to lighten it up. Take your time going around the edges. There we go. I'm going to pick up a little bit of my blue. Come around this edge here. And back. Okay. So, there's the baby. Now. This is gonna be the little nest that he uses, that they, they sat him in or laid him in or whatever. Um, what I am going to do is I'm gonna show you a real easy way to do this uh, with just a few steps, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to load up my brush in yellow. And it doesn't matter if it has peach in it, pink, red, it doesn't matter. So see how heavy that brush is, that paint is? Okay, so I will start up here, right? And fill that in. Turn it around. Notice how I'm not really being perfect with this. Come around this way. And we're going to go underneath here so that we don't see those little pencil lines. And it can be laying in midair, right? So, okay. Doesn't look much like now, but you'll see it's going to look really cool when we're done. Okay. Well, it's almost like a little hammock, doesn't it? I'm not going to rinse my brush. I will take the same yellow. And I am going to hold my brush. Whoops, sorry that I moved the camera, guys. Okay, I'm going to hold my brush straight down and just put yellow everywhere, right? Don't rinse your brush out. Pick up a little bit of this brown, any dark brown you have. And I didn't take my yellow out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my brush straight and go very slowly and don't press very hard and go in between that yellow. See that? Come down here, do the same thing. Turn it around. 
do the same thing here go all the way across the top and see how I'm going back and forth back and forth because I want that yellow and that brown kind of to mix go back to your yellow and in between go back again and do whoa do your yellow notice that when I paint no matter what color I use I always go back and do the same color on the top because remember the first color that you start with is the color you're gonna end with okay so we have um, the little nativity um, holder ready so we're gonna pick up a little bit of brown just on the edge of the brush see that not too much and I am going to turn my little project around and try it right here I will go right underneath here and put some of that brown turn it around and then I want you to put it kind of blotchy because it's supposed to be hay right so now I will wipe my brush out on my paper towel and I will pick up a little bit of this white and go right in between those little brown lines and highlight see that so now all your little colors are blending together There, and don't make it perfect because that's supposed to be hay. We can even put some white in there if we wanted or over here. That's fine. Now we need to highlight the little baby Jesus' face. So I'm going to rinse my brush. I am going to go in my original peachy color that we did. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of white on the side of my brush. See that? And I'm going to take the top of the face here. and highlight don't rinse wipe your brush pick up a little bit of brown wipe again do the bottom here and just come all the way around and blend and now his little face is blended and if you can't blend it with your brush use your finger fingers are good for this I'm gonna highlight a little bit more his face because I want it a little bit lighter yes okay so the little blanket we will take a little bit of blue and a little bit of white and mix it together to make a lighter blue and I am going to take the top of the blanket and put some of that blue in it And see some of the white and the blue. Oh, I hope you saw that. Come here. Some of that blue and that white is showing up. Turn it around and pick up a little bit of that brown. I haven't rinsed my brush. Blend it a little bit on the side here and come right on the bottom. Oh, and the blue. Sorry. Pick up a little bit of the blue and okay so now our little baby Jesus is all shaded I will go to a smaller brush now I will do a round brush this happens to be a number four round and we're gonna tie this so that it's not in midair so I'm gonna just take a little bit of blue and white See that and I'm making it just a little bit lighter and I am going to just 
come here like in a letter C, a letter C, a letter C, and a letter C, and tie those together. And we need to have a little bit of hay coming out of his little bed. So I will hold my brush straight and come from the edge here and don't do them all even. For those of you, and you know who I'm talking to, you like to make things straight, don't do it. And I'm pressing very little on my brush. Come right back here. Hold your brush straight up. Okay, come back to your yellow. And what I'm doing is, see, I'm flattening out my brush to make it almost like a flat brush. So very slowly come here and cover some of that. Because you don't want that white, that brown straw staring at you, right? So I will come back here. And a little bit of white. Come back. Oops, that's a lot of white. Come back here and highlight the little tips. And I don't like this little one right there, so I just take my finger and wipe it off. He's looking really cute. Okay. Take a little bit of that brown that you see there and Remember how I always say that there's shapes to everything? So this is a little letter C. This is going to be his little halo. Come back here. Now the little blanket needs a little highlight. So I will take my white. I don't have any paint in my brush, just the white. Hold your brush straight. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it. Take your brush straight and then give it a little, a little highlight. You can highlight some of these if you want. Come back here and highlight some of these a little bit more. But I think he looks good. I wouldn't I wouldn't do too much more. Now we have the little star of David up there. So I will take my white. And make this nice and strong and hold your brush straight outline it and come back with your blue on some of your papers it will show up and if you have a lighter paper I don't know which one you're tracing this on just take a little bit of blue and just go over it and I'm going straight There we go. And now you have your little nativity. Now, is he not adorable or what? Try not to do too much more on this if you can, because it's supposed to be rustic and you want it to be rustic. And if you keep adding paint to it, then it's gonna get too serious. Uh, if you want it to shade it in any shape or form, for those of you who love to shade, and I know who you are. Just take a little bit of brown on the tip of your brush, just a tad. I don't have any other paint in there but the brown. And I can come here on the sides and take my finger and walk it out. Turn it around. Take the brown and just... Actually, that looks pretty good. It needed that. Ha! Who would have thunk it, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to highlight that a little bit so it doesn't look so even. And come down there. Since I did it on that side, let's do it on this side. And if you want to know what color that is, that is just... um. Let's see what color does it say here on my little jar. Let's 
it's raw umber so now since that is so strong there I am going to add a little bit of that to the edge here and here and there you go there you have it now what I would do is leave it the way it is sign it do whatever where the little hole is on here take your little hole punch punch a little hole and then this way when you put your other piece of paper on the back of this and you need to punch the hole to put the little ornament on you know where the hole is if you have excess paper here like I have on here just take a sander and sand it down and you're good to go and you got a little beauty here for yourself so uh, oh one more thing yeah, because you're never done when you're done right uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of that blue and that white, and I'm just going to put a little bit more of that white in there. Since I put the brown, I want this to stand out just a tad more. And that's it. So keep me posted. Enjoy your painting. Any questions, you know that you can always reach me by email. So enjoy your afternoon. And tomorrow we will be doing Jingle Bells. Take care.